Hi friends, this is Aparna and welcome to Aparna's Magic. Let's go to the kitchen and let's get started. We need prawns. This is chopped onion or chopped pears. This is chopped shimla mirch that means capsicum. This is chopped tomatoes. This is jeera or cumin seeds and red rai chili or sukhi lal mirchi. This is honey powder or turmeric powder. This is Kashmiri red chili powder. This is jeera powder that means cumin powder. This is garam masala powder. This is ginger garlic paste, adrak or lasun ki paste. This is yogurt or dahi. This is kaju powder that means cashew nut powder. This is chopped dhaniya patta that means chopped coriander leaves. This is bhuna hua jeera that means roasted cumin powder. This is butter or makkhan and lemon that means nimbu. Here we have prawns. Now add a little bit of haldi powder or turmeric powder. Little bit of Kashmiri red chilli powder. Little bit of ginger garlic paste, adrak or lasun ki paste. And little bit of salt or namak. Now mix it nicely. This way. Now they are nicely marinated. Our oil is nicely heated up. So put two red rai chili or sukhi lal mirchi and one tablespoon of jeera or cumin seeds. Now add chopped onion or pyaaz. Add one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, adrak or lasun ki paste. Now let them fry for a while. They are nicely fried, so add chopped tomatoes. Mix it. Add one teaspoon of haldi powder or turmeric powder. 1 teaspoon of Kashmiri red chili powder, 1 teaspoon of this is jeera powder that means cumin powder and 1 teaspoon of garam masala powder. Add salt to taste or namak and sugar to balance it or chini. Mix it nicely. Now let them cook for a while. Our gravy is simmering for 5 to 6 minutes now. So in this stage add 2 tablespoons of yogurt or dahi. Mix it. Now add 2 tablespoons of this is Kaju powder, that means cashew nut powder. Now add the marinated prawns. Mix it. Let them cook for a while. They have been cooking for 10 minutes now. So in this stage, add capsicum or shimla mirch. Mix it. And let them cook again. They have been cooking for another 2 to 3 minutes now, so it is almost done. So at this stage, add bhuna hua jeera powder, that means roasted cumin powder. Add chopped dhaniya patta, that means chopped coriander leaves. 
add one dollop of butter or makkhan and squeeze a lemon or nimbu now mix it very gently We're done. Stay tuned for more recipes and please subscribe my channel. and welcome to Aparna's magic let's go to the kitchen and let's get started we need cucumber this is kashmiri red chili powder this is chaat masala powder this is black salt or kala namak this is kuti hui lal mirch that means chili flakes this is honey or shahad or madhu this is red rai chili or sukhi lal mirchi and black pepper that means kali mirch this is roasted sesame seed that means unnavua til this is chopped dhaniya patta that means chopped coriander leaves and this is lemon or nimbu our pan is nicely heated up so put two tablespoons of kali mirchi or black pepper on Sukhi lal mirchi, that means red rice. Let them roast for around one minute. Now we will dry the rice. We have dry grind it. Here I have cucumber. Now add little bit of Kashmiri red chili powder, little bit of chaat masala powder. add black salt or kala namak add freshly ground masala add bhuna hua til or roasted sesame seeds kuti hui lal mirch that means chili flakes add chopped dhaniya patta that means chopped coriander leaves squeeze honey or shahad now mix it nicely now squeeze a lemon or nimbu again and you are done stay tuned for more recipes and please subscribe my channel